welcome back guys we are headed to a different lake today uh like we never fished before uh it's uh what pat cleaver yeah. pat cleaver cleaver texas so uh we're all on our way out there uh this is going to be kind of a uh i guess a, a lake breakdown uh video so uh yeah we're going to get on this water try to figure it out try to figure a pattern we know nothing about this lake. We kind of looked at it on our Navionics a little bit. Uh, you know, there's a long dam. Yeah, there's a very long dam. Lots of flats. A lot of flats, yep. Uh, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. Hard sky. Yep, so uh, we're headed out there. It looks like there's hardly no wind today. Yeah. Uh, had a cold front push in a couple of days ago. We had storms roll in. Uh, it's like 60 degrees right now, so I don't know. Bluebird Scott, like my bro said, it might be tough. We don't know, but we want to get out there and see if we can catch some. So guys, stay tuned. Hopefully we get on something. Uh, hopefully we figure out a pattern and we put some in the boat. So uh, we'll catch on the water. Oh, it's a shorter trailer, huh? Yeah, it's a smaller boat, you can do it. Smaller boat, well, yeah. He backed down all the way from the top, but even if you did that, the slope of that, that yeah, man, just neutral in it down there. Yeah, well, guys, we're docked up, we're we're put in. We like that little boat ramp there. I mean, if you have a smaller boat, you can actually do the loop, is what we were talking about, and put in real quick, or even if just the slant of that that dock. I mean, yeah. you could just get that thing in neutral and just let that boat bring you back. Right. Well, we're going to try this. They say there's good fish. We've seen a big old crappie right there at the yeah. at the boat ramp. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try the dam first. We're going to go ahead and just eliminate that. I think it's a little bit deeper water. We're going to look for some spots. I think I want to try that overlook first. Yeah. We're going to go that way. So, uh, all right, guys, let's see if we can make something happen today. to a crankbait because y'all know guys that's what I like to throw <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna switch this crankbait out I don't know if I want to go with the DTs or Gary Yamamoto you see your uh, Z-Man pouch over there go with the Z Ned Rig mm -hmm. it's a good choice good choice guys, bro we're on the dam cranking pretty deep right there what was that well guys i'm switched up to something i'm gonna try some wow there's fish popping up everywhere check this bait out picked it up the other day look at that it's a divine what are these fish that are popping up yeah yeah it's a little divine six cents little swim bait a little boot tail right there Man, it just looks real good in the water. Chunk it out. Let's see, we got shad here. A bunch of bait fish. I'm trying to figure out what is feeding right here. So we're going to throw different things at it. They're just everywhere here around us. All right, guys. Like I said, we know nothing about this lake. We're going to scratch the dam. I mean, that's what we're on right now. But I'm just, you can see where I'm at right there. The boat moving idling I mean, but we're graphing to a lot of bait fish on this lake but we don't see any streaks anything feeding so uh we're going to kind of make our way up into this area right here fish that bank looks like there's a lot of tight lines and we got deep water right here so we're going to work this area a little bit and see like i said it looks like cleburne doesn't really have a lot of points if that makes sense it's more of a it's like a big old bowl of a lake but uh Right now, we're just in search mode. I think we're looking for post-spawn bass right now. Post-spawners? Yeah. Looking for bass that want to feed up. Uh, yeah, we're we're on the search right now. So we're going to probably idle, cover water, and do a lot of that. 
uh, and scanning using our electronics and see if we can uh, if we can find some. I mean, because we can find the bait balls, but we're going to be looking for those street. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got those baits. Yeah. So, that's what we're doing. So we're getting close to that little corner there. We're going. It's basically that bank right there in front of us. That kind of looks somewhat of a point right there. We might fish that for a little bit and see. I mean, this is this little this is a point, a secondary point underneath, huh? Yeah. Coming around that hook. No, it's it's that it's, that, right it's that right there. Yep. This is a transition like coming it's up. A, it's in the uh, in, uh, in the end of this, like a creek that goes in that way. Yeah. Yeah, there's docks right there, but look at that. See them lines right yeah. there? We might try that. We're going to try that next. Well, got the skunk out of the boat on a Ned rig. I couldn't tell. Like, I was like, that was all. I didn't feel the bike. Yeah. That was all on just my line felt tight. And my line kept moving out too deep. Yeah. See how long I set it took before I set that hook? Yeah. Alright guys. The grind is real. One fish. And we've been here for like three hours. But look, there's no wind. Bluebird sky. And the water is murky. So conditions aren't favorable right now. And I think we're going to kind of ride around the lake, see if we can find some current. Uh, we've tried shallow, we've tried deep, we tried uh, we in hits, between. Though. I think mean, I got two more hits after that. Nico's the only one getting hits on a Ned rig right now. I got one little thump on the uh, Tokyo rig, but uh, didn't want to come in. So uh, we're going to move around, I guess idle around some more and see if we can find some more potential waters to fish that maybe just maybe might be holding some bass so uh all right guys just hang in there hopefully we get on right, them guys we came to these docks that are on this lake i don't know if there's any more but we found a little cluster of them right here we'll target them see if we can't pull the bass off these a little swim bait on right now all right, guys. One o'clock, one fifteen. We're calling it at two. It's been a horrible day. Look at that boulder. You see it? Look at all the fish around it. Look! Look at that. Those are all fish, guys. Two boulders right there. Look at all those fish. Wow. Anyways. We're gonna fish this one bank right here and wow, those are all fish, man. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. On the right or left? On the right. And a little bait ball right there. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yep. Oh, I just got nailed right there. Just got nailed. He's nailing me. He's nailing me. Oh my god! Just hit it already. There he is, there he is, there he is. He's hitting it. Yep. Yep. White bass. That's what they are. That's what the, what's, what's on graph over there? About this size? That's about the size of that shad? Chris, are these white bass or something? Oh, they look like white bass. Was that the size of the shad? No, the shad was wider. It was wider, like a crappie, right? Oh, man, I want to go see if we can go back and find it before we go. There he is. Yeah. Catch something. Put something on some content, right? The viewers want to see something. Sorry, guys. Not, 
not what we come out here for. These fuckers are handy, Brody. It's not what we come out here for. Where'd you catch him? Way out there? Yeah, yeah he's hitting me. There he is. <laughs> hey. Uh, at least I caught something. I didn't go bust. They're little. A little spinning. So, we got on these, uh... No, you didn't cross me. On these whites here. Be nice. I think the further your cast is off that point is where they're at, right? You got one? Oh, as soon as I hit the water, I got one in my full full cast. Oh. That's a keeper right there. Can we keep one? Give them to our own? Huh? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, because uh, we'll be passing through our Tasca. Yeah, we can have them. We can have them. What is, what is the thing? This smells well, dude. This lake probably needs to get cleaned up. Cleaned up. Oh man, as soon as you throw it out there, they hit it. Huh? Yeah. Here, this is the keeper too, it looks like. Maybe. Oh, I got, you got that? We're, we're on them. So we're just gonna, we're gonna call it a day on these. Yeah, I guess we'll just get up the position there. Huh? Yeah, we'll take them and have a. Our uh, cousin make us a ceviche. Oh, there he is. He's on it. Oh, he come off. Got him. Got him. Damn, that one sounds, sounds a little bit better. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah. Something we stumbled across, stumbled across you know. They're busting up everywhere. There he is. There he is. Let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go. Hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. There he is. This one's not. Oh, got to keep it. Oh, we almost doubled up, bro. We almost doubled up. Ooh. <laughs> there he is. We did double up. You got yours in before me. These are fun, dude. I don't know. This one might make it. Probably get tired of seeing I don't know. White, white bass getting lit up. Oh! Oh! He's underneath you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a keeper. You getting hit too? I mean, I'm so hungry right now that they just look tasty, you know. There you go. There's one. There's one. Small one. This one will though, right? Man, what a crappie, bro. We're, I saw those on graph. Where, where at? Right over there. The second gar we hit our bait. The second gar. The tags are subtle with the gar, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're off the water. Uh, wasn't that great of a day. It was tough. It was real tough. Uh, I think a lot of it was post, you know, that storm that rolled in, bluebird skies, there was hardly no wind today. I don't know. We could just, just couldn't get on a bass bite for nothing. We tried everything, threw everything at them. But it was just one of those days. And it just happened to be on a new lake that we've never been on. But, I mean, we got to explore it a little bit. I mean, I 
like the lake. I think the lake, yeah, I like it too. Uh, we know next time when we come out, some spots that we want to hit, you know. Uh, um, we caught a few white bass or whatever, you know, you caught one little dink. I hooked up on a guard twice, you and me. <laughs> but uh, besides that, overall, it was kind of a sucky day. Uh, but hey, it's part of it. It's part of it. Anyways, we're going to try it again, hopefully, pretty soon. Uh, we want to give it another chance and really explore the the end of the lake closest to the hospital. What, what, uh, the north, I guess that's the north end. The north end of the lake. Uh, yeah, we kind of ventured around the dam and, and some of the flats and docks over there on that side. But, like I said, it wasn't that great. Uh, just stay tuned to the next one. You know, who knows where we'll be. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, give us a like, thumbs up, and We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Abotello Outdoors.